Jeff, congratulations, you, Dave, Jerry, on having those belts around your waist there. Good, it feels go. awful good. You know, just like me and Jerry were watching in the back, you know, it's been uh, seven months coming. Mm -hmm. And Monday night, I couldn't have been, uh, I really can't explain the feeling I had in there. I know uh, we're supposed to be out here talking about what the match is fixing to take place, but I just want to say a little bit about Jackie Fargo and Jerry Lawler, I guess the two guys that I've tried to, uh, that I've looked up to most in the wrestling business. It would have to be Jerry Lawler and Jackie Fargo. And to have them two in the ring, and uh, one of them is one half of the world tag champs, I couldn't say more. I couldn't be more happier, Dave. Well, I'll let Jerry talk about today. I understand, and I'm, I was a little surprised you're not wanting to celebrate longer rather than agreeing to the rematch today. Can you fill us in on that? Well, I can, yeah. What, you're exactly right. What we want to do is have a little celebration. We want to uh, have a celebration at the expense of the Moondog and Richard Lee. Now, you're right, they, they said the, the match was already signed, but Richard Lee apparently went to Eddie Marlin this morning and said that if he would have, if we would give him the match here on television, where everybody could see it, that he would be willing to put up $5,000 oh. in cash, cash money, right here. <laughs> He's going to have to bring it out and set it right here on this table, and then we're going to have this match and anything goes now. This is so I want everybody in this audience, you people on the front row, if there's seat belts on those uh, benches there, fasten them down or either move back a few rows because when the Moon Dog and Jeff Jarrett and the King get in the ring with anything goes, we're liable to be all over this studio. So just get ready for that. And what you can also get ready for is at the end of this match, you're going to look at two young guys right here. They're going to have $5,000 to celebrate with, and we're going to throw a big party with that five grand. Yeah, so get them out here. Get ready, Dave. Come on, Richard Lee. Bring your dog and bring your money right now. Well, I understand now. Uh, no wonder they signed the match. Yeah. Huh? Five thousand dollars in cash. Hey, it comes uh, Lee and them. Yeah. Well, he's got a briefcase with him. I tell you what. Let's check it and make yeah. sure there's money put, in there. Put it right over here, Richard, Richard Lee. Lee. Turn it over hey. here. You done jumped me once, Dave Brown. I'm going to say something. It's a sorry state of affairs when two grown men can come out and literally steal two heavyweight tag team belts. But that's all right. I've been in meetings all week with Mike, with Mike Sample. I had to meet with Eddie Marlin today. And I'm going to tell you something, Dave Brown. I'm not a happy man. I want you to know that, and I want everybody else to know that. Richard Lee lives up to his word, baby. Give me a shot up here. Give me a shot. And these people, you blue collar workers that don't know what five dollars is, this is five thousand dollars, baby. It's my hard earned money. It's my dog's hard earned money. When this thing's over, I'm taking my five grand back with me. I'm taking the tag belts back with me, and I'm gonna leave them with bloody faces, baby. And that's the fact. Dave Brown, you watch this. Corey Mack has already jumped me several times from behind, and I'm not going to have him take him out. Hey. Uh, well, we'll watch the money, all right. We'll we'll uh, keep an eye on it. Hey, guys, welcome back to another edition of Fan Cam Commentary. Uh, today, I wanted to get that uh, the opening uh, interviews there out of the way between uh, Jerry Lawler and Jeff Jarrett and uh, Richard Lee with the Moondogs. Uh, kind of give you a little bit of what's going on here. This is a USWA tag team title match. Uh, anything goes. Uh, the Moondogs, Cujo and Spot against the champions, Jerry Lawler and uh, Jeff Jarrett. And uh, U USWA in Memphis. Uh, this is from 1992. And, of course, uh, the Moondogs at this point in time were managed by Richard Lee. Uh, yeah, the, the Moondog matches during this point in time was pretty much just uh, weapons. Um, they had a little run in Smoky Mountain Wrestling after this as well, where they just would just run through jobbers, beating the hell out of them pretty viciously. Uh, but at this point in time, they've lost the tag team titles, and they held the USWA tag titles multiple times uh, with multiple different members of the Moondogs. Um, this right here against Cujo and Spot. Spot, a legendary member of the Moondogs. Uh, thanks for joining me, folks. Though so This is a little bit of a short one here today. Uh, the Moondog matches usually didn't go that long. Um, but, uh, yeah, uh, please subscribe, like, uh, click the bell. Uh, one more time, if you go to Facebook and you search Fan Cam Commentary, uh, you'll find my page over there, and please follow and like that as well. Um, as you can see, Richard Lee getting involved there and holding up a chair, so I believe Spike could throw Jeff Jarrett's head directly into it. You got Lawler and Cujo outside the ring there, and another, another time running his head directly into the still chair there held by Richard Lee as they're trying to regain the tag titles back here. Classic episode, Memphis Championship Wrestling. One, 
two, extremely slow count there, but a two count by Spot. You can see outside the ring there, Jerry Lawler busted open by Cujo outside the ring there. This is that classic Memphis studio style wrestling. They had this style of wrestling for so many years in this area. We got another cover here by Spot. Cover again, one. Camera got off of him there, but another kick out by Jeff Jarrett. Of course, a future world champion in WCW, uh, multiple time Intercontinental champion, tag team champion. Uh, of course, ran TNA, NWA TNA for a long time. Held the NWA world title there. Big clothesline there by Jarrett, though. Maybe coming back a little bit. And oh, Lawler's got a chair here. Oh, okay. Hey, Billy, Billy Travis that ran out there and threw some weapons into his buddies there. We got a trash can and a chair into the ring on the on the Lawler and Jarrett's side now. Is they're just bashing the heads into the Moon Dogs, folks? I believe all four men are busted open in here. Again, yes. Oh, just to, I don't know what the hell that was, but he just cracked it right over the head of one of the Moon Dogs who was tied up in the ropes. I believe that was Spot. This is just a violent match here, especially for 1992. And if you watch any of the Moondogs matches from this time period, it is kind of a, a weird thing to watch, especially from this, you know, this era of wrestling in America. There wasn't a lot of this style happening. And they're just bashing each other in the heads here with weapons as Lawler finally got Cujo reeling on the ropes here, right hand after right hand. And he's not letting up. The Moondogs are guys that you really can't let go. You know, if you give them a breath, as you can see, Cujo's busted open too there. Another trash can. Oh, right to the head. He's trying again. He just can't get Cujo off his feet. A huge man. You can just see the stature there. Lawler's a lot smaller than him. You can see Richard Lee there still running around. Oh, we got a cover, though. Oh, that's it. Lawler got a cover as they tripped him out, I believe. Maybe... I don't know if Jarrett or Travis tripped out Cujo there, but they stole a victory and are still tag team champions and USWA tag champs. As you can see, the Moondogs are just going crazy. And there you can see the referee raising the arm of Jeff Jarrett as Richard Lee is just protesting there. Still tag team champions here on this episode of USWA in 1992, folks. Um, one more time, uh, please subscribe uh, to the channel, uh, especially if you're new to checking out any of my stuff here on YouTube. Um, like, share, comment, say it every time, but all that stuff helps the algorithm here on YouTube. As we are uh, going to put another episode in the books here. You can see in the ring now, and they've also on the line this match, as you saw from the opening segment there when they were talking, $5,000 was on the line of Richard Lee and the Moondogs' money because they wanted that badly to get a rematch for these tag titles, and they did not win them, and they're pissed off, as you can see, just beating the hell out of the ring apron there, but that ain't going to do you anything, any good at all, as they're walking away with the tag straps and five grand. As you can see, Jeff, uh, excuse me, Jerry Lawler just throwing the money into the crowd now. Some fans getting lucky here as they're throwing away the Moondog and Moondogs and Richard Lee's hard-earned cash, folks. Pissing them off. But, uh, yeah, thanks again. A little bit of a different match here this week. A little bit of a violent one. Um, you know, Southern Memphis violence. Um, again, the Moondogs after this went on to Smoky Mountain Wrestling and had a good little run there um, under Jim Cornette's promotion. And anytime they ever got into the ring, it was just a... Uh, just a beat down, really. They would just beat the hell out of people. So it was actually kind of interesting to see them here in the ring with uh, two, you know, established stars and Jerry Lawler and Jeff Jarrett that could, uh, you know, hold their own and, and put the beating back on them. But, yeah, that's it for this week, folks, and uh, I appreciate it. Thanks for joining me.